hello and welcome to today's revision today we are going to look at a question involving logarithms where we are supposed to find without using mathematical tables or a calculator the value of x which satisfy the equation and the equation we have is log base 2 raised by x squared minus 9 which is equivalent to 3 the log of base 2 raised to 2 then we add 1 so the first thing we are going to do it is to make sure that 1 is written in logarithm form and in this case to introduce the logarithm to base 2 of 1 we are going to take the log of base 2 we equate it to 1 then we take 2 you raise to 1 it will give us 2 so in other words log 2 log to base 2 power 2 would be equal to 1 now we can move down and write our equation that is log base 2 into we have x squared minus 9 this one is going to be equal to 3 into the log of base 2 power 2 plus now the log of base 2 power 2 which is equivalent to 1. From there now we can apply the rules of logarithms. The first thing we are going to do is to take this number behind the log and become the power so that we have the log of base 2 raised by x squared minus 9 and this one is going to be equal to the log of base 2 power 2 3 goes and becomes the power plus now the log of base 2 power 2 here we are going to have the log of base 2 into we have x squared minus 9 and this one is going to be equal to you realize the log base 2 is common here so we factor log base 2 outside we multiply by 2 2 cubed is 8 we multiply by 2 since these two logarithms are connected by an addition sign we are going to multiply their powers from there now we drop log base 2 because it is common on both sides and we equate the powers we are going to have x squared minus 9 being equal to 8 times 2 will give us 16 and we will collect the like terms negative 9 will move to the other side such that we remain with x squared and our x squared is going to be 16 this is a negative it is going to be a plus once it crosses the equal sign from here we are going to have x squared which is equivalent to 16 plus 9 and 16 plus 9 is 25 and for us to get x we are going to take the square root on both sides the square and the square root will cancel we remain with x and our x is going to be the square root of a number is plus or minus the number and in this case the square root of 25 will be 5 and that is the answer to our question that means x can be x can be positive 5 and also x can be equal to negative 5 thank you for watching and welcome to our channel